Hi everyone and welcome to another video from DisperiPair.com. Should you sell your car? Well, if you've asked yourself this question, then this video should help solve this dilemma. So stay tuned. DisperiPair.com Be sure to visit us at our website DisperiPair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. The first and perhaps most obvious sign that you should sell your car is that the engine starts burning too much oil. The appearance of excessive oil consumption on an otherwise good engine is a sign that the inner engine parts, like the piston rings and perhaps cylinders, are worn out and that the engine will soon demand some serious repair. This is both very costly and often isn't worth it depending on the car. What is excessive oil consumption? To make a loose estimate, if your car burns a liter or one quart every 10,000 kilometers or about 6,000 miles, then this is tolerable. Anything above that, especially in the realm of two liters or two quarts every 10,000 kilometers or 6,000 miles is a sure sign that you should sell the car. To notice this sign, you have to know how to check the engine oil level. To see our video specifically on that topic, click on the card in the corner of this video or on the link in the description. Next sure sign is the appearance of rust. Now I'm not talking about serious rust that endangers the structural integrity of the car, but rather of surface rust. The kind that appears on for instance the wheel arches, sills, the boot door and else. Yes, these can be due to scratches or minor impacts, but it can also be a sign that the paint and anti-corrosive layer under it are giving in. If this is the case, just like with the engine, you're in for some serious, visible and costly repairs. If your bills for fixing the car are higher every year, you should check the reason and perhaps consider selling the car. Especially consider this if more expensive parts start to fail, like the AC compressor, alternator, starter or even the dual mass flywheel. On most cars, these tend to start failing and this is also a loose estimate at about 200,000 kilometers or about 120,000 miles. Know that costly maintenance means less money for you in the long run and when selling the car. If you're interested in more information on the dual mass flywheel problems and what happened to me, click on the card in the corner of the video. All of these signs will be accompanied usually by a high number on the odometer. Know that one of the first things people check out when buying a used car is the mileage. Essentially, more mileage means less money for you, even if the car was well maintained the whole time. This is just how things go. In most cases, the sweet spot for selling the car would be around 200,000 kilometers or 120,000 miles, give or take 10 or 20,000 miles. So when you see a big number on the odometer, you should perhaps consider selling. If you often encounter that most spare parts for your car are hard to find, then seriously consider selling. Especially do this if more common and more frequently replaced parts are in question, like various filters, hoses, valves, electronic parts or else. Needless to say that this problem can render your car useless. It also means much more fuss and lost time to find the part and that these parts tend to be much more expensive. If you want to see how to buy car parts without making a mistake, click on the card in the corner of the video or on the link in the description. For the last sure sign that you should sell your car, and that is that the car doesn't meet your needs anymore. It may be too small or too big, it may be too slow or too fast, it may not have enough space, it might have a higher fuel consumption or something else. Whatever the case, the moment you see that the car doesn't match most of your daily requirements, mostly in terms of transportation and your budget, give selling the car a thought. For the end of this video, one more tip that is best presented through a good saying in my country. Sell while you have something to sell. Know that the car's condition and therefore value seriously deteriorates over time. All of the mentioned signs in this video point exactly to that fact. 
pay attention to the signs and try to sell the car on time while it's still in good condition and there's significant value in it. So that's it for this time. We hope the video helps. Please like and subscribe. It's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.